I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, this filter element I made for this uh, nuclear uh, emergency or biological or chemical really uh, has the charcoal bed down here. And I made that in another video. And I had the HEPA filter attached to this part down here on the suction side, which made it really long. Now, it, uh, the way I've got it now, is it'll fit in here in a five gallon bucket instead of a seven gallon bucket and it's got plenty of room and then the uh i attached it down here with just some um, silicone put this on here so now the airflow comes up and comes backwards through here which is okay because the the outside of this when the flow's going through this way is really a roughing filter. It catches the big particles so it doesn't clog up the, the HEPA filter part, the high efficiency particulate filter part. So because there's a filtering in the charcoal and then in the bottom of the bucket, I had some roughing filters, this'll still work. It, and the flow rate is low enough that it won't push the the filter. So even though it's going backwards, it'll still do the, the job. Anyway, this way, uh, it fits in a smaller bucket. It's modular. So now you could build more than one of these and just swap them out if you need to. I was probably not going to have to do that uh, with the limited time you'd need to use it. And um, the uh, filter can be like enclosed like put in a plastic bag or something and sealed up and then kept for uh storage so anyway i just wanted to show that i'm going to uh, go through how to build one of these later on and it's not that hard and uh that way we'll be able to get it down to a five gallon bucket instead of a seven gallon bucket so anyway you guys have a blessed day thank you